Thank you. And, and Janeth, can people who are here as attendees hear me now? Because I just wanted to let them know we'll start as soon as we get some of these technical issues resolved. Yes, they can hear you. Oh, OK. So anyone, thank you for your patience, uh, the attendees, as we try to get our technical uh, issues resolved here. We'll start in a couple of minutes. Hey, Lisa, I'm going to video settings and I, everything that should be checked is checked. Hmm, okay. Now, I unchecked it to check it again just to sort of restart it, but it's not. Okay, because that, yeah, that's what I did. And then when I went back into, you know, the regular settings, the regular screen, I clicked on video again and then the line came off and I was visible. I don't know if that'll work for yours, but it seemed to work for mine. Let me try to go back in on my PC and see if um, I can figure it out. Okay, thanks. And once again, there's no, there's no option when I check more on any video. Okay. Anything. And my videos Okay, now now it's there's a echo chamber. <laughs> um, and, you know, if worse comes to worse, I, can Lawrence still give his presentation and we can still um, do this even if we can't see him, right? Because I know a couple of other times this has happened for other planners and we could still see their presentation and ask questions and talk about the that's right yes the project okay okay great great is this still echoey on your side i uh, know that that stopped okay all right good i turned yeah. off i turned down my volume i think that oh, was okay. it great great okay mm -hmm. yeah it was definitely an echo chamber <laughs> can you move me over again deb so i could play with the settings real fast over to what? To panelists. I'm already there. I'm already there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I make you a co-host? Yes. Make me co-host, please. Make you host. Okay. Uh, co-host. Co-host. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Lisa. Uh, may I try sharing my screen right now while um. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because we were just saying, if you even if we can't see you, we can hear you. And if you can share your screen, that's great. Oh yeah, yeah that works. Okay. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So Dad, we can, can you move me right? over again? Sorry. Back to. I mean, put, do co-host. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Sure. No, that's okay. Have you as co-host, Janet? Okay. You're on a co-host. All right. Thank you. Okay, it's about it's about ten after or five after ten. So I think we'll go ahead and get started. Does everyone feel comfortable with that? We're we're good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Great. Thanks, Lawrence. All right. I am going to uh, start the February eighteenth, twenty twenty one zoning hearing officer meeting, and I am Lisa Grote. I'm the San Mateo County uh, hearing officer. And I, uh, we have a couple of, or just one item on the agenda this morning, but before we get to that, we do start the, with each meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. So I'm going to ask Deb Robinson to lead us in the pledge. Thanks. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Deb. Okay, we also have an opportunity for oral communication. So if anyone would like to uh, bring up an item or a topic that's not on the agenda this morning, now would be the time to do that. And I am going to check to see if anyone has their hands raised under oral communication. And I don't see anyone with their hand raised under oral communication. 
And Deb or Janeth, I'll just ask you to confirm that. I don't see anything. Okay, great, thanks. So we'll go right into item number one, and that is owners Cindy and Steve Sims. The applicant is Cindy Sims. The file number is PLN 2020-00300. The location is 251 Stage Road in Pescadero, and the assessor's parcel number is 0860020260. And Lawrence Strong is the uh, project planner, and he's gonna begin with a staff report and uh, staff recommendation. Lawrence, thanks. Thank you, Lisa. You guys can still see my screen, right? Yes, we can. Okay. So the proposed project involves consideration of a coastal development permit, use permit, and off-street parking permit exception to allow remodel and expansion of a commercial kitchen for a to-go food establishment with an order pickup counter, rest restroom facilities, and 45 outdoor seats. The use permit is required for outdoor seating and the off-street parking permit exception is required to weigh 15 required off-street parking spaces. The project is appealable to the California Coastal Commission. The subject parcel is located off Stage Road. There is an approximately 858 square foot one-story commercial building on the property, along with the existing concrete slab foundation of the former Pescadero County Sport damaged by fire in 2016. The property is within the Stage Road, Pescadero Road, Cloverdale Road, County Scenic Corridor, and is visible along Stage Road. The surrounding area consists of existing residential and commercial uses. This is the proposed project site plan. The subject parcel is approximately a quarter acre in size. You can see the proposed to go food establishment and 45 outdoor seats. This is a comparison of existing versus proposed floor plan. The project involves adding approximately 428 square foot on and within the existing 858 square foot building location and concrete slab foundation that remains of the former Pescadero County store. The existing building is one story with a maximum height of 13 feet and three inches. The proposed building will continue to be only one story with maximum building height of 23 feet and nine inches, which is still below the maximum building height allowed. As seen on the proposed front elevation, the proposed project involves barn red color, hardy plank exterior walls. The project conforms with the following policies of the general plan. The building is designed to be compatible with the established historical building context of the commercial corridor along Stage Road. The proposed project will require issuance of a building permit and compliance with all applicable codes and standards, including regulations related to development within applicable flood hazard areas. The project conforms with the following policies of the local coastal program. A coastal development permit is being sought under the subject application. The one-story building would be similar in size and scale to surrounding development, which includes older one and two-story businesses. The proposed project will replace a long established and popular visitor serving facility lost by fire in 2016 that was considered an asset to the small rural community of Pescadero. The proposed use will reestablish a visitor serving use designed to fit into the small scale rural community character of Pescadero. The project site is located within the neighborhood business zoning district, which prioritizes commercial uses, which the proposed project supports. The proposed to go food establishment will have 45 total seats, all outdoors, per section 6119 of the zoning regulations, one off street parking space is required for each three seats or stools. Pursuant to section 6120 of the zoning regulations, the applicant is seeking a parking exception to waive the 15 off-street parking spaces required for the proposed seating. The proposed project is categorically exempt from the California Environmental Quality Act guidelines pursuant to section 15301 class one for operation of existing public or private facilities involving negligible or no expansion of existing or former use. The former use was a commercial grocery store with a commercial kitchen 
and the project reestablishes a commercial kitchen for to-go food service. The project conforms to plans, policies, requirements, and standards of San Mateo County Local Coastal Program, specifically in regard to locating and planning new development, visual resources, and recreation visitor serving facilities components. Staff has determined the project is located in rural area designated neighborhood business. The building is designed to be compatible with established historical building context of commercial corridor along Stage Road and proposed use service to support the rural community of Pescadero. For the off-street parking permit exception, the establishment, maintenance, and conducting of off-street parking facilities as proposed are as nearly in compliance with requirements as are reasonable possible since the subject parcel is unable to provide on-site parking due to size of parcel relative to footprint of existing development on-site and flood hazard constraints on-site and within the area. For the use permit, establishment, maintenance, and conducting of use will not result in a significant adverse impact to coastal resources or be detrimental to public welfare or injurious to property or improvements in said neighborhood, since there is no evidence to suggest that proposed project will have detrimental effect upon coastal resources or result in adverse impacts to properties or improvements in the area, as project will not obstruct ocean views, have any visual re or resource impacts, or significantly impact parking supply as as proposed project will be as nearly compliance with off-street parking requirements as are reasonable possible, reasonably possible. Furthermore, the proposed project supports the rural commercial community of Pescadero. Staff recommends that the zoning hearing officer approve the coastal development permit, use permit, and off-street parking permit exception, county file number PLN 2020-00300 by making the required findings and adopting the conditions of approval included in attachment A of the staff report. Okay, and thank you. The presentation. Thank, okay, thank you, Lawrence. Is, uh, would the applicant like to make any additional comments? Um, I am looking, okay. Now, I don't see any hand raised under the applicants. Would uh, Ms. Sims like to comment at all? Okay. Okay, I am No, not... everything sounds good. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Are there other um, public comments? I will ask uh, Deb or Janeth to read how uh, a call-in listener or someone who is uh, watching this Zoom meeting can participate. Deb or Janeth, can you do that? Yeah. For those attending the meeting on the Zoom video conference, we will use the raise hand feature in order to organize any public comments during the general public comment period. And for each item on the regular agenda, I will ask those members of the public who wish to comment to click the raise hand feature to raise your hand to speak on that agenda item. For those joining by phone, please press star nine to indicate your desire to speak. Please note that the members of the public must wait for my prompt in connection to each agenda item before using your hand function. Okay, uh, thank you, Deb. Are there any attendees who would like to comment on this? Okay, I do see Casey from PMC. Deb or Janeth, can you, um, unmute her and allow Casey to speak. All right, thank you. Uh, Casey, yes, did you have comments or questions? Uh, no, I just had a quick comment. My name's Casey Dunn. I'm the chair of the Pescadero Municipal Advisory Council. And uh, in our um, COVID era Zoom meetings, uh, when this has come up, we've uh, met with strong uh, support for the uh, approval of this project and returning the pizzeria joint to uh, the stage road would be great. And that's my only comment. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Any other public comments at this point? Okay. I see none. 
Um, I will close the public hearing at this point, but I did want to mention that we did also receive a letter of support from uh, Carrie Burke saying that she also is very strongly supportive of the application and that the Sims family has a proven track record uh, of success with previous businesses in the area. And so uh, again, another letter of support. So Lawrence, I had a couple of quick, just clarifying questions. Um, can you show on the site plan where the floodway and the floodplain intersect on this, um, on the property? You had mentioned in your staff report that it's part floodplain and part floodway. Can you, and it can be approximate, if you could just show where that is. Yeah, let me, um, do you mind if I share my screen again? Oh, no, not at all. Thanks. That would be great. Please uh, let me know when. I see. Uh, yep, I see it. Okay, so it's shown in green, and then there's some uh, lighter green. Yeah. Yeah, okay. the floodway is here in the, in the blue, I believe, and the green is flood zone designated AE. Okay, okay. Okay, great. And then um, the new uh, f the new square footage, that 428 square feet, is that the food preparation area and the bathrooms? I realize it's on the existing pad, but is that those two areas are the quote 428 square feet that are new? Correct, it's the restrooms okay. on the left side and the food prep on the right side. And it's on the existing concrete slab, correct? Okay, great, great. And then, um, are is that existing steel tank and, and an existing little building um, that's shown on the site plan? I think there's an existing steel tank that's shown in kind of the the part that's jutting out from the main part of the site. Is that an existing steel? I think it's a storage area. It's a I, steel facility. Yeah, I believe it is existing. Um, I okay. would defer to the applicant if it's not. Okay. And then, and also there's a little building that's just kind of north of the building pad. I'm assuming that's an existing small little storage building of some sort as well. Yes, I believe so. I, okay. The project scope does not include any other structures other okay. than the addition. Okay. Okay, great. And the lot coverage is well under the 50%, I think that is allowed. It's at 11%. Your 12%, something like that. Is that correct? Yes. Um, the maximum lot coverage is 50%. It, uh, the proposed addition will bring it up from 7.8 to 11.8%, so okay. significantly below. Okay, great. And then um, there will be some striped parking in the street. I realize it's not on site, but it's it will be striped for parking uh, in the public right of way. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, great. Okay. Those are just, I wanted to make sure I was reading everything correctly in the staff report. So thank you um, for those clarifications. And I will ask um, Ms. Sims if you've had a chance to read through all of the conditions of approval and you understand them and are in agreement with them? I am. Okay, I am. great. Okay, great. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask just one more time if there's any public comment. Uh, I don't see any. Okay, great. Well, I want to thank everybody for their time and um, interest in the project and I will issue a written approval uh, in accordance with the findings and conditions in the staff report and that should come out this afternoon or tomorrow morning. And I do need to mention that there is an appeal period of 10 working days that will expire on March 4th, uh, 2021. And if anyone uh, would like to appeal, it's a $616.35 appeal fee. But once that appeal period has expired, you can proceed with uh, obtaining your building permits. So again, thank you very much and all the best. And this uh, ends the February 18th, 2021 zoning hearing officer meeting. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Hey, Lisa, I'll wait for your letter. Okay, great, thanks.